against Spud and And there we go, Essa, who we saw earlier versus uh, Krusty Kirk on the first match of the stream. He double force talked him terribly. Uh. Let's see how Dragon Spook will do. Yeah. Well, Dragon Spook already. Yeah, starting off nice. Yeah, doing a decent job of getting the S Fat in the air. Taking on a lot of damage. Look at this combo. Decent combo by S Fat. Catches him with the double jump and the side beat. But he manages to get back on stage. Even though S Fat tried his best. Kind of interesting. S Fat didn't go for the up throw over there. I'm pretty sure he's killed percent, but do not want to risk his match the eyes, close. And I really like that follow-up that s did. When he went for the neutral air, he faded back. So that if he yeah. didn't get it, he would still be in a good position to get the mark, you know, yeah. as he's coming down. Keep pretty basic. Oh! oh wow. The trade? I would have never done what? thought of that in 10,000 years. Oh my but that God. was actually one of the best options he had. Wow! It totally secured the kill there. And great dash dance grab. s turning it up now with the speed. Here's the tech chase. Does he go in? Nice! Dragon Spook read that. Got the forward smash. Here's... Uh, I, oh, I, I wanted to see the oh. Thundercats. I yeah, wanted to see the Thundercats. That would have been the best option That would have been amazing. All right, all right. Wow, wow. mid-short from s -Fat actually was the only thing that saved him there. Crazy. Woo. Gets in position, knocks oh, him off stage. Dragon, Dragon Spook's mad because he missed his, his easy kill chance. You know, now this is happening. And Mesfet is trying his best to get as much damage as possible because he knows he's at 192. He's going to lose yeah. his sack any time. Probably it's not. It's inevitable he's going to die, but how much work can he do before that point? And here we go. Dragon Spook back on stage. Down throw. Oh, hey, hey, here we go. Oh. Pretty great recovery. Yeah, I was, thought he was going to air dodge, but uh, went for the up and uh, takes the stock right after. Yeah, and the funny thing was when he activated the up I thought he was too low to like sweet spot it, but no, he was at the right distance. Perfect distance, yeah. Wow, great text from that set. And oh, that was good defense by Dragon Spook, not getting caught by any shines. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. man. Oh, no. The Nair playing, dude. So you see Marth's shield getting small, and he's on a platform. Double whammy. Oh, good. Marth does not want to be up caught up there, nope. especially against Fox. Fox, when you're at that perfect percent, Fox just kicks you one time and it's five kicks. This could possibly lead to a potential stop with Fox. Yeah. All right, here comes the tech Oh, for the Ken. I'm actually surprised that as I did not punish the third side B. Yeah, well, that should be it. Oh! <laughs> he's going for the stream, man. There we go. Nice. Nice stuff. All right. Three stocks, 72%. Game one going to Millie on me zone, S Fat yeah. against Dragon School. Dragon School, where's he from? I have no idea. I, I feel like I've seen it before, though, so possibly West Coast. Okay. I want to say that just as his face is familiar. Ready? But I can't believe it wrong. FOD, I guess this, this is fine. Yeah, close quarters. Uh, so this is generally like a Spacey's kind of least favorite level, but they're Spacey's, you know? It's not like they have really bad maps. There you go. Less amazing maps, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to jab that. Yeah, but even a double jab. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was almost the best air dodge ever, but not close so enough. So close. Nice. He's not trying to get grabbed by Marth. Marth's punish game on the space animals are really good. Even on stages with platforms. I mean, this is PPU's, you know, childhood training part. Of course, he's going to be comfortable in the Marth match. That's right. Good the eye after that back here. Yeah, there you go. This guy, like, this guy likes doing the Ken. <laughs> It's, so far, it's not working out so far, though. Yeah, Ken usually does commit to all of those. All right. That's not looking nice. Woo! So, the get-up attack. Oh, man. So Almost. I like the option to go for Shine just to make the edge guard scenario instead of go for damage, because you yeah. might just get a kill, and that's better than going, you know, just getting the damage. Nice. Forcing him off stage with the back aerial. Not even trying to go for an up air. Okay. And is he gonna pull this out? Okay, yes. Well. All right. Nice job by Dragon School. Yeah. Gotta keep it respectful. That looked like another opportunity for a regrab. Oh. Ooh, he's off stage. Okay, he did go for the double, but yeah, he wasn't close enough to the ledge for it to actually keep him off. Nice down tilts by Dragon School. Yeah, that's a great move in the neutral for basically every matchup. But s just needs a run up up smash, and that's that. Last, potentially last stock of the set for Dragon's food. <laughs> oh, good man. DI. Yeah, he DI'd behind him there. Is he gonna double jump? Yeah. He's out of shield. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, he wow. Should, he deserved to die there, because that was. s read that by a mile. Yeah, you never want to immediately no, no. <laughs> after Mark throws you off stage. Yeah. The, especially when the Fox is blocking. Yeah. That's the PC special, you know? Like, he'll just block and side out of yeah. shield. I learned that from him way back. Yeah, classic stuff.
Good dash. Yes, I wanted to see more of that from Dragon Soul. Yeah. He's not running around a lot. Just. That's good though, but. Yeah. Oh. oh, wow. They both were stuck in shield. Here comes the chase. Okay. Opportunity. A lot of oh, man. Yeah, kind of. Oh. Yeah. All right. He, he lost his footing there. He was kind of yeah. jumping around. That's about 6-2 Zip, and we have Bizarro stepping up once